Hmm. All right, here it is. Got a comment. This is a video that needs to be made. We need to, we need to address this. I made a video called the truth about hair loss sometimes feels like a lie. I very much enjoyed making that video. Our good friend Robert, which what would this channel be without Robert? Robert has honestly helped me build this channel. He's been commenting from the very beginning. He's challenged me. I feel that I've challenged him. He and I are the perfect, perfect Cisco and Ebert. If I ever move to Seattle, which I don't plan to, or if he ever moves to Nashville, which he doesn't plan to, then he and I should have our own YouTube channel and we do great because he's on kind of a little bit more on the other spectrum than I am when, cause I'm, he calls me the balding uh, advocate. Whereas he's more, it seems open-minded to stopping your hair loss, which that's what I want to talk more about right now. Here's what Robert said on that comment. He said, quote, have you ever considered that your quote truth in end quote example, it doesn't matter at all. Seemingly hair loss regarding hair loss is the lie. So have you can, have I considered my truth that hair loss doesn't matter is actually a lie. Have I considered that? That's what he's asking. Just curious. You seem like a guy who has, or at least thinks he has all the answers here. I try to be very open-minded personally. Uh, and then he went on to say, quote, I'd like to see a video response reminds me of the quote, what if you're wrong in quote question that believers often pose to non-believers and vice versa in quote. And I like this. See, that's another way that Robert and I differ. Uh, I've said before that I, I am a Christian and I know some people are like, how could you be used to, you're so bossy and stern. Yeah, well, check out the Bible. Check out all the, <laughs> check out the Apostle Paul. Uh, <laughs> check out James the Apostle. Yeah, they were pretty stern. So I'm, I'm okay with it seeming like I'm bossy and, you know, that sort of thing. It's, it's who I am. Uh, and then Robert, on the other hand, I think is, is an agnostic, which reflects, uh, uh, was it Louis C.K., the comedian, my favorite comedian? And he has a bit on that. He says, it's a lot smarter to be an agnostic than an atheist because an atheist is pretty conceited. How can you know that God doesn't exist? Have you checked everywhere? Have you checked in the bathroom downstairs? How do you know? How do you know he's not here? So, uh, so anyway, I think that's what Robert is. And, and so what Robert's asking me this, he's saying, as, a, as an agnostic, he's saying the same thing with my, with my Christian beliefs, you know? Uh, it's like a Christian asking an agnostic or atheist, well, what if you're wrong and Christians are right? And what if you really are held accountable? And what if God will, really will judge you at the end of this life and you're held accountable to that on an eternal scale? And so, I mean, if someone asked me that, what if I'm wrong? Honestly, I'd be like, well, I lived uh, a life that I feel was, was honest and real. I tried to help other people out, but I also knew how flawed I was as a human being. And so I guess if I was wrong about that, I'm kind of good to go. But what if I was wrong about hair loss? I think we need to address that. What if I'm wrong? What if I am wrong? I am so happy to answer this question, what if I'm wrong? Let's put this in perspective. What if it's a lie that hair loss truly doesn't matter? That it matters as much as you believe it does? Like I've been saying, what if this whole concept of your hair loss is re your reality? What if that's a lie? What if when you lose hair, that's it. You're automatically destined for less in life because you've got no control of it. So you better get a hair transplant, get Propecia, get Rogaine, tattoo pigment. You better find a way to save your hair because I was wrong about all that the whole time. <laughs> so what if I'm wrong? Ugh. See, I'm, I'm open-minded to being wrong. But here's the challenge for me. As you know, I read all of the comments that I receive on all the videos. Whether or not I respond to them or acknowledge them, I read them all. I see what people say to me. I see how on a daily basis, men who are much younger than me and much balder than me say the same thing. Nick, I'm so glad I found your channel. You have truly helped me. I'm not worried about hair loss anymore. Thank you. Okay. So if you're me and you get at least one of those comments every day, that's 30 a month of people who say that. Now, proportionally, I get probably just as many that say the opposite. 
they'll say, Nick, I'm only 16, I'm going bald, and it's easy for you to say the hair loss is no big deal, but look at you, you're 36, married, two kids, and I don't know that I'd care either if I were you in your position. So there, there's clearly people who think that there's no hope, ultimately, that you have to stop your hair loss. And then there's people like me who say, well, like my dad, like my dad taught me, mind over matter, if you don't mind, it doesn't matter. And that's ultimately my philosophy on hair loss. If you don't mind, it doesn't matter. If you do mind, it does matter. It's that simple. But what if I'm wrong about that? It's Again, I'm open-minded to being wrong, but it's just that I'm already being proven on a daily basis that I'm not wrong through the people who believe how I believe. <laughs> it only matters if you allow it. I've seen too many guys with a lot less hair and, and uh, they're much younger and they've already overcome it. Based on what? Based on watching 20, 20 minutes a day of my videos, they get to that point. So I don't see how I could be wrong about that when it's helped all those people. And I totally understand some people I'm never gonna help. I made a video about that recently. Uh, the, the seven types of guys I'll never be able to help overcome their hair loss. And it really comes down to preconceived ideas. So I think, I, th I feel this ties in very well with, with even kind of the Christian versus agnostic argument or debate. I think it ties in very well. Okay, well at the end of the day, let's say I am wrong. Let's say that hair really does matter and you really should care. What am I doing to all those people who I've convinced otherwise that it doesn't matter? And then they start watching my video, they're watching my videos and they're like, wait, but I was confident. Now what do I do? I, I should stop being confident now? Now I should go get a hair transplant? Now I should go get Propecia? I've seen it too much evidence already that what I'm saying is truth. I've seen too much evidence. Now that's not to say it's true for everybody, right? Because your hair loss reality is your reality. What you choose to believe is reality for you. So clearly, my reality, the reality of all the people who have got help from me, our reality differs from people who say that your confidence is based on your hair alone or largely your hair and it has to matter. So out of 2,000 people, maybe a third of them fall on my side and the rest fall on the other side and there's some people in between trying to figure it out. But what I want to challenge you, I want to ask you the question, whose side are you on anyway? <laughs> whose side are you on anyway? I've said before how important it is as you're beginning to experience hair loss to accept that identity. If you don't, you're in an identity crisis, you can't be confident. And you also have to figure out what you're going to do about your hair loss. I'm not here to judge anyone who gets a hair transplant or gets propecia or does any of those things. Do what's going to help you through this and accept it. Being in denial is the worst thing. So do whatever you think you need to do. So do it. But ultimately, I feel you're in a position where you have to choose. I feel like you have to choose either to accept the truth, you can overcome hair loss with, from within, and finding confidence in the things that people actually judge you for and care about, or you can always believe that your value as a man is pending on how much hair you can keep on your head. I really don't feel there's much in between especially if you're someone who's watching this video. Your fascination with hair loss matters enough that you're willing to commit 20 minutes a day to watching my videos. So I wanna ask you, whose side are you on? Are you with me? Is it mind over matter? Are you with the people who continue to watch my videos even though they don't agree with me fundamentally? And, and, and basically they've got to base their confidence in their life around their DNA causing their hair to fall out. Whose side are you on?